In this setup, you can see that I'm using the camera from my phone as a webcam inside Zoom. Now for reference, if you wanna see the FaceTime HD camera that comes on the computer, it looks like this. And if I were to switch this back to the image on my phone, this is what it looks like. So if you think that this image is better than the one that's produced by the camera on your computer, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this kind of setup for free. And I'm gonna be comparing three apps, the Epoch Cam, the Erium Webcam, and Neural Cam Live. Some of these apps are compatible for Android, iPhone, Windows, and Mac. But for my specific setup in this video, I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro that has the 1X, 2X, and 0.5X wide angle lens on it. And I'm connecting that iPhone to my MacBook Pro. Now for starters, an iPhone doesn't come with the ability to use it as a webcam out of the box. If you do plug in your phone to your computer like this on a Mac, if I were to go here and click Javier's iPhone, instead of treating this like a webcam, now you're just recording your phone screen, which is something that you probably don't want. So we're gonna need to download a third party app. Each of the apps I'm going to use have a similar installation process. You need to download the app from the app or Google Play Store onto your phone. Erion Webcam is available for both iOS and Android and works on PC and Mac. Epoch Cam by Elgato is currently only available on iOS, but it works on both PC and Mac, and Neural Cam Live is only available at the App Store and only works on Mac. While installing the apps on the phone, they're gonna prompt you to download and install the accompanying driver on your computer so the phone can be recognized as a webcam. Each of them have a simple process where they give you several options on how to access the website to download the driver. It can be AirDrop, copy and paste, email the link, or you can just Google how to download the driver yourself. Once you install the driver on your computer, you may need to restart it in order for the phone to be recognized as a webcam. Next, you need to connect your phone to your computer via Wi-Fi or USB, then open the app that you'll be using on your phone. Then you wanna place your phone wherever it needs to be. Personally, I like using this little clamp mount. Obviously, you can use whatever you want. I'll have a link to this specific mount in the description below. And finally, in whatever software that you're using, select the app as your video input source. And you're in business. Now let's compare the features and quality of each app. Currently, you're looking at the Eriun webcam. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If I mess it up throughout the whole video, I'm sorry. Of all the apps on this list, this one specifically only works with Wi-Fi. And what that means is your phone and your computer have to be on the same Wi-Fi connection in order for it to work. And also because of this, you might experience some lag from your camera to your computer. Now, if those things aren't an issue to you, the Eriun software has a lot going for it. In fact, when I was testing all of these different apps, this is the only one that consistently was recognized as an input regardless of the software I was using. And the other cool thing is the interface is super simple. Like you can switch between the front and rear facing camera. You can mirror your image if you want to, and you can also turn on the flash on the camera. One thing that this app does not allow me to do, at least on my iPhone 12, is switch between the 1X, the zoom, and the ultra wide angle lens that I have on my camera. In fact, even if you were to click on the pro over here to see what you get, it still doesn't even mention that you can switch between those lenses. Next is the Epoch Cam, which has the most ratings in the App Store, so I was pretty pumped to use it until I saw the signal, which looks like this. <laughs> Again, I know that this is free, so there's only so much that you could complain if you could complain about something that's free, but it only outputs 640 by 480 pixels, and everything that you see in this app is just a bottleneck to have you purchase the Pro version. But in the free version, you get a watermark. You can mirror your image and you can flip it between the front facing and rear facing camera. But besides that, that's basically it. Personally, I think the image from the actual webcam on my computer looks better than this image. So I think if you were to use this software, yes, you can use it, but you probably are gonna have to upgrade to the pro version, which is only $8. And right here on the screen is exactly what you would get with the pro version. And I'll show you how that looks at the end of the video. Next was my favorite out of all of the free versions versions of these apps and that's Neural Cam Live. And a couple reasons why I like this one the best is one, it does allow you to connect the USB cable from your phone to your computer and it operates that way. This does not work via Wi-Fi. That's not really a drawback for me because I like the stable connection between the phone and the computer. And the second reason I like this one the most is because you can switch between the different lenses that I have on my phone. So I can hit this and you can zoom into my face or I could go widescreen and you can see everything in my room. This is the only free app out of all of the ones that I've talked about where you can switch between 
between the lenses in the app. The other features that you have here are kind of gimmicky. Like there are filters on here if you want to use them. There's this head bubble setting so you could block out your whole room if you wanted to. But one of the features that I found the most interesting was this gesture guard. And what it does is blur your picture whenever you do a gesture that you probably don't want other people to see. So if I were to like wipe my nose like this, it blurs it. That's kind of cool, <laughs> uh, but it may be annoying depending on your situation. Uh, it's part of the free version of the app, so hey, you could use it if you want to. Oh, what am I doing behind here? It's all blurred. <laughs> Also, if I didn't say it, you can change between the rear, oh, see, there's a gesture guard again. You can change between the rear and front facing cameras. Now here is the pro version of the Epoch Cam. It's eight bucks in the app store, and this does work with PC or Windows with your iPhone. The image looks so much better than what we were looking at with the free version. There is no more watermark in the middle, and you have so many more options that you can choose from. But is it any better than the Neural Cam Live that we were looking at. I, maybe, basically any feature that you would need from your webcam or kind of like basic features, you're going to get with this app. Starting with the ability to change between your lenses. So I can zoom in if I want, or you can go to widescreen. You can also mirror, um, you can turn on and the microphone and there's a green screen. There's a green screen chroma that you can see right here. You have that option. Um, let me show you right here if I click the different settings. With this connection, you can do NDI, you can do USB or Wi-Fi, or you could have auto connection. Right now I'm going via the USB connection. Obviously, there is a whole bunch of other things that you can do with this app that the other apps don't have, but I will say if you do have an iPhone and you're using a Mac, the Neural Cam Live is a very close competitor for something that you have to pay for here. Something of which where I would probably just use the Neural Cam Live if you have that specific setup of an iPhone and a Mac. But if you don't mind spending the $8, you could get all of these different things that you see here on screen with the Epoch Cam Pro version. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Are you going to get any of the different apps that I talked about? Is there some other app that I didn't talk about where you can use your camera on your phone as a webcam on your computer? Let me know in the comments down below if you are using any of these apps, if you're using a different app. There's so many things to do at the end of the video. I hope you do one of the things. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.